I want to switch gears, though. I want to switch gears All right. and talk about the two-time MVP, Defensive Player of the Year this year and MVP, Giannis, getting it done. So, uh, hey, man, how you feel about it? You know, we saw what happened. They lost to the Miami Heat in five games, but he had a dominant regular season. He had a dominant regular season. How you feel about it, this MVP award? I mean, I just don't like where you started, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? It's, it's this, it, and you start you, you, it was in the same breath. You start in the wrong place, and then you put this 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 weird emphasis, these italics, this underlining, this bold today. capital letters around regular season. It's like you know, there was something there was something under that. I, I'm I'm reading tone. I'm reading inflection. There was a regular season. It's like how you feel about it. Like, well, how am I supposed to feel about a guy that was the expected two-time MVP? Went for th what 30, 14, and six. Joins Jordan and Olajuwon as the only yeah. players to win. Defensive player of the year and MVP in the same season had the highest player efficiency rating in NBA history, I believe. It's Look, crazy. I'm not a numbers guy, but I, I used to play one on TV no. every now and then. I mean, oh, led I the like league in line. field goal percentage, used, led the league in field goal percentage at the rim and as the closest defender. I mean, so this was expected. I mean, look, he won in a bit of a landslide. I think he had 85 first place votes to 16 for LeBron. So I feel fantastic for Giannis. A great personal story, a great success story continues to get even better as he gets better. And I just hope there aren't people who have any kind of mixed reaction around his uh, receive. So there you go. So so this is about to have the playoff conversation and it should be an award for the entire season, not just the regular season. Is that where we're going with this? Can a professor from Marist College call on the student? I heard you shouting yourself out yesterday. You and Jay McManus giving all that love, all that free advertising to Marist uh, in, the, <laughs> in their sports program out there. Listen, um, one, I want to say this because I, I, I love, you know, I love in the NBA. I love NBA history. And so since the MVP award started, I think they, they started giving it out like 65 years ago. And just looking through the list of MVP winners, I think basketball may be the only sport that can say this. Basketball does not do one-hit wonders when it comes to the MVP. Like football, I, I was giving one of our producers, Gary, Gary Carter, a hard time yesterday because, you know, he messes, with, he messes around with the Washington football team. And they had the MVP one year, the kicker. Okay, a kicker. In the National Football <laughs> the League, the kicker. The 1982? Yeah, that's Frank Jordan season, wasn't it? Was the MVP of the league. Yeah. That's shameful. Yeah. That's shameful. I mean, I should, they should strike that from the record. Anyway, like, there are little blips like that that happen in, in football. Those blips don't happen in the NBA ever. But I'll tell you this, and this is what gets my uh, attention. Two things. One, you can be all nice. You can do this little nice thing with Giannis if you want to. I'll bet you Giannis feels a little empty today. Now, he'll be proud in, in three weeks or a month or a month and a half. There's no way a guy who's a defensive player of the year, best team in the regular season, the Milwaukee Bucks, MVP of the league, and he has to sit there just like you, just like me, and watch the Eastern Conference Finals when he's got all this hardware. But wouldn't he rather be on the court? So, yes, he's a little disappointed, that's and not, that's okay. That's not fair. Well, okay, wait, I'm, you know, I'm a wordsmith, so I'm going to parse your word. Not even parse, I want to focus, I'm going to narrow it on. You said he feels okay. a little empty. I don't know what, exactly empty. what that means, because you're either empty or you're empty. not. You know, so I don't know if he feels, if he's okay. got mixed emotions or what. But I, how can you, so you're telling me that somebody who's worked as hard as he has to yeah. get where he is, that yeah. improves okay. year to year the way that he does, is now, yeah. I think, the 11th guy with back-to-back -back MVPs. And you look at that list, you talk, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a hell of a list. It's, you know what I mean? A hell of a club yeah, that he just list. joined. It's a great You're list. telling me that yeah. he somehow isn't as proud of his, right. as you put it, Today. regular season accomplishment because right. he's not Today. playing right now? I think he, yes, right. would he like to be playing right now? Sure. But Are you hyped I think about two it? things can be true at the Come same on, time. Yes. You, if I'm him, of course I am. You can, two things can be true at the same time, Michael. Uh, not, not to me. Well, okay. Uh, we, we disagree on that. But I'll, I'll say, and here's the other thing. So I pointed out that no chumps win. Uh, NBA MVP, they don't, no chumps win it. But it's just, it's, it's pretty, I'm pretty curious on this. Only two multiple MVPs in the history of the league, only two multiple MVPs don't have championships. And I know how you feel about championships. Steve we had our Nash. football argument. Who's the other one? Steve, Steve Nash and who else? Carl Malone. Uh oh, 
Go ahead. Carl Malone. So, so multiple champions. See, basketball's different. And, and that's how you get respect in that league. I, I, I'm sorry. So I don't know if he is going to be a champion. I'm, I'll just be, I'll be watching him closely. He's got plenty of time. He's not old. Uh, he's not in decline. I'd say he's still ascending. He's got a lot he can add to his game. But I wonder where he will wind up. I'm just, that's just a thought that came into my head that usually in basketball, your multiple MVPs are not only getting it done in the regular season, but they usually take that and they clean up in the postseason. I'm talking about, uh, obviously, you know, LeBron, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell. Throughout the history of the league, if you are a multiple MVP winner, Tim Duncan, you're also a champion. And I wonder... Okay. Yeah, all the people you named, everybody you just named, they're all done playing, except LeBron. They're all done playing, okay? And so what I would ask you is, are you talking about by the time you've won multiple MVPs? Or are you talking about just winning multiple MVPs when it's all said and done? He's 25 years old. You can refresh my memory, because, you know, I'm not as good on basketball as you are. Had Michael Jordan won a title by the time he was 25? He had not. I don't no, he had think not. he had. Okay. No. So maybe this is part of Giannis's process. So to say what he's not going to be, that's why I got so annoyed with my man Richard Jefferson talking about, I know. you know, he needs a Jordan, he's a Pippin. I'm like, wait, you, you don't even know what he is right now because he I'm lost in the playoffs it. two years in a row? You know, are you, you, I wonder what's going on. You're a little annoyed today. Everything's annoying you. Am is I? it your dog? Is it the dog Stokely Carmichael? Because every time, I want to tell y'all something. Every, you can't talk to Michael Smith on the phone five minutes interrupted. He's so annoying to talk to. Five minutes, <laughs> six minutes on the phone. You try to talk to him, and it's like you're having this good conversation, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, 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 get the dog, get the dog, get the dog. Are you going to take the dog out? You see your mama doing not something every, else. <laughs> not, not, everybody, not everybody has a cottage that they can escape hey, to and get peace and quiet in the back of their house. So, I mean, you know, yeah, I got, I'm managing a lot of things in my household hey, right on. now. Like, I got, I, got a, I got a homeschooled daughter five feet away from me. You know, I got a, I got a son. And I got a dog who, who, who just got snipped, so he got the this coming out, okay, around his just... head. And so, you know, he's, he's struggling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard out here for a pimp right now. You know, I mean, they got a lot okay. going on. I guess